Hey everybody, we're back with more Back to the Future of the Game. And before I go back to the speakeasy, um, I'm just going to quickly run through the dialogue options that I have with her and anything else I can do out here just to see and make sure I haven't Edna, forgotten anything. What? I don't think we've told her a nice song. What was that song you were singing earlier? Do you like it? I wrote it myself. It really gets the toes tapping at the Stay Sober Society meetings. Although I suppose that could be the shakes. Hmm. Would you like to hear it again? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Refresh I my knew memory. if I waited long enough, somebody would request it. You say you've lost your self-respect, but you should care. It's not too late to redirect and start to care. Don't despise the good and pure. Time to rise up from the sewer. Wash off all that foul manure. Show the world you care. You should care. <laughs> you should care. What people think of you. Of goals that you could name. Reclaiming your good name is what you ought to do. You should care. You should care. <laughs> if your reputation is in disrepair, it's not going to hurt you to reclaim your virtue for you. Should care. All right. Catchy. You really think so? Yeah, it's uh got a good hook to it. One needs a good hook if one is fishing for souls. Uh huh. This is a new option. Can I have a copy of your? I know where this is going. You think I could have a copy of your "You Should Care" lyrics? I've uh got a club of my own that could really use some inspiring. Sure. Let me just get a page out of the hymnal. There you are. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Did I... Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? Parker? Just another soul lost to the twin vices of booze and despair. I've asked him to tell me his story for my column. Sort of a cautionary tale, but he's never in the mood to talk to me. Yeah, I can't imagine why. You know, Trixie Trotter sings a song that sounds a lot like your You Should Care. She does? Yeah, but hers is a little more carefree. That's what you get when you sing for booze hounds and gangsters. Uh-huh. Mm, I already did that, I already did that. Alright, nope, we're good. See ya. Keep but fighting now, the good fight! I think I know how to solve or end this now. Yeah, see, convince Parker to do his duty. <laughs> duty. Um, real easy. I think at this point, if I just swap the song, he'll stop drinking because it's, you know, sober up song. And we'll see how it goes. Maybe it'll work. It's a good lead anyways. Welcome back, sir. Oh good, I didn't have to play the questions game Looks again. Looks like Parker's still parked. Hey there. How you doing, little lady? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Uh, you take her Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Uh... Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Okay... I happen to see Arthur McFly. Tonight? Uh-huh. How is he? Where's he staying? I didn't manage to find out. If you see him again, tell him I'm looking for him, okay? I could really use his advice in regards to my... You know what. Okay. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hmm. Well, first off... Let's do... I really should give these lyrics to someone who could do them justice. Oh. I guess I do have to give it to her. So if we do this to this... Hey Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. Okay. So now we need to swap out to the... You should care. 
should care. You should care what people think of you. She's right. I can turn my life around. <laughs> sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. So now what? Now I wait. Wait for the moment to take down Kid Tannen, restore my good name, and win back the heart of Betty Lipinski. Hold that thought. I bet that moment is just around the corner. Okay. So, I think we've convinced him to do what he's gotta do. So, what are we left with? I still have the... What have I got? Um, I, I, low, the, just, what? This is no time for word games. Hmm. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Yeah, I don't think I could do anything with that. Hey, you can trust me. Come on, what's the dirt you got on Kid? Nick's on that. All right, now we've already been through all of her Break dialogue a options. Thanks. I think the last step is going to be go back and talk to Doc. Whatever we got, I think I've advanced whatever I was trying to advance before. So at this point, whatever we have to do, we have to get Arthur and Trixie together. Best I can think of is go back here. I like seeing the cars and random people though. Hey Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Mm. Any sign of Artie? Haven't spotted him yet. Still missing something somewhere. Okay, I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. <laughs> Where the hell do you suppose Artie is? Oh, I know what to do. This to the dog. I ain't trying to get back. Hey, boy, here. take a whiff of this. You gotta love that nose. I've been laying low, officer, but I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Now I just go back to the Majestic. Because whatever I do next, I have to... I like how it zooms out on that. I have to go and uh, get him to talk to the girl and everything should be fine. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Send our... Oh, perfect. Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she... Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. 
No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. <laughs> Makes sense. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary- <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Don't worry. Things are about to go bad. Wait, I never looked at the posters before. Uber 28. A chicken in every pot. How's that working out, Herbie? <laughs> Ooh, trash cans. Ew. Alright. <laughs> uh, can I move? There we go. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Hmm. Apparently they forgot all about Doc being out uh, there. Trixie? Yeah? Arthur's waiting on Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Cover to- Cover for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Atta girl. Uh-oh. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk! I saw you making eyes at my Eunice! We've been over this. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you! What an idiot. I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All <laughs> right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? I don't nothing. Know nothing. I... Ah! Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Oh man, I don't want to have to go out there and figure that out. Could be bad. Well. Hey, Danny. Hey, you know, uh, I don't think I ever caught your name. I never threw it, and now I'm not sure I should, what with you being an upstanding member of the police force again. Fair enough. I think I owe you a little anonymity. Just don't step out of line on my watch, you hear? Loud and clear, Officer Parker. Get Tannen. Still ready to arrest Tannen? Ready and willing. Cool. Hang tight. I'll see what I can come up with. Okay. See you soon, Danny. Take care, buddy. I think we need to go outside. Actually, can we talk to Trixie now? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. Tell me. What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Come on, Trixie. Can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No. I made a deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, the evidence goes up in smoke. Come on, Trixie. Can't you tell me what happened? No! Then it... Mm. No. All right. Break I guess a leg we do have to there. go outside. Stupid person. Not helpful. Right, get me out of here. Ah, that's not good. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whispering away all conquistadorial-like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? 
Seriously, down on her knees crying and begging for McFly's life. So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Oh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Hmm. Always. Boy, this is just going back and forth. I guess and back that's and Grandpa's forth. nose blood. Okay, so where the heck did he go? Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking we go back in. I was really thinking that kid was gonna like try and shoot me or something, but I guess not. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Okay. Oh, he just walked right through me. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Oh, that's cool. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Hmm. Hmm. Never Louis these. the Louse, oh, squashed in his prime. Hey, what? Hmm. So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later day turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. Hmm. Talk to you later. Hey, look! A paying customer! Where? I didn't see one. So if I took this... And did this... I don't think my caricature would look good there, or anywhere for that matter. Huh. Can I do something with this? It would seem like I should be able to. I don't think they'd be interested in my caricature. Hey, what? Um, What's hmm. it like working for Tannen? You looking for a job? No. Then stop being so nosy. Hmm. Oh. Talk to you later. Hey, look! A paying! Eh, shut up. Uh -huh. You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. <laughs> now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. So, what if I did this? I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kid's Club. Can I, but, but I want to put it up there. Did I not click the right spot? No, hints. Oh, well. Uh, no, there'll be more. Okay. Sure, why not? About to be a new addition to the wall of fame. 
Okay. So it's basically the same thing I've been trying to do this whole time. Nah. Hmm. Looks like someone's about to be added to Tana's Wall of Fame. Oh, it's back there. Well, that'll solve it. Can I use you? Oh, come on. Camera, don't do this to me. There we go. Sorry about this, Dad. <laughs> okay. The shrew didn't burrow deep enough. It's funny. All right. Well, now with that done. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Ah. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died... Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Yeah, you, dummy. Oh, where did he go? What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! <laughs> Psst, Crockett. Would the Valenti mob be willing to help uh, defuse this little situation? Yes. Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Hmm. Uh, never mind. <laughs> don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Eventually? Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Okay, well, we've got the dog. we got some barrels. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Cool, can I have one? Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Guess not. Uh... Oh, look, a flask. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. Okay. However, I can use this. Find him, doggy. Hey, Aini, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't.
don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Heine. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. All right, Doc, here I come. Crockett, what are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught her planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent <laughs> after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! What an idiot. Watch out! <laughs> Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Oh, me. Okay. Well, it looks like we gotta make our way this way. He's not about to let me in. No, probably Make not. it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tannins never make things easy. <laughs> well, that's a fact. He's not yeah. about to let me in. I'm not sure where to go from here. <laughs> just, we'll just go back and forth until he runs out of ammo. What do you think? Hmm. Yo, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! No one messes with kid. Hold on. Tannen! I would just blow up in my face. I don't care. I think I'll hold on to these lyrics for posterity. Oh, jeez. Not helpful. I don't think my caricature would look good there. Or anywhere, for that matter. Whoa! Okay. I guess I actually have to pick it up. I was thinking I could just use it on the ground, but that's fine. Bowling for ten. Now we just, th this is just even easier. Let me just do this. Oh, go back. This Are one. You sure and... Hey, there's an idea. But not while Edna's in there. Ah, damn it. I have to get go back. Nah, that'll do it. Alright, so hey, we need kid, to get him distracted. Let, phony! More on this. Well, faster, Make it easy. Lady. Yo, Tannen. Make like a tree and die, rat. There we <laughs> go. Hey, had a girl. Okay, she actually hey, safe kid, range. Hey, lead phony. Okay, yeah, she's probably good. All right, so now we head back. It's amazing he still has ammo. Alright, no, that's not what I wanted. No. Misclick. Terrible misclick. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. This, uh, no go. one messes with Kid Tannen! Yeah, well, you're about to have a bad time. Hey, kid! <laughs> that ain't a real gun! Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <laughs> <coughs> He's getting away. Oh, no. Yes. No. There. Good 
Fresno. Oh, look, Tannen. The judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Great Scott! No kidding. Try <laughs> to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Well, at least the gun's out of the question. Emmett! Ah. Oh. You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Oh, now he's got a Should've knife. Should've known. I mean, Sonny Crockett? Yeah, well, what kind of gangster's named Irving? Hey! <laughs> Doc, hit it! What the hell? <laughs> Woohoo! Satan! <laughs> All right! <laughs> That's what you get for messing with Carl Sagan! Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? Oh. That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. That's going to change things yet again. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. Are you absolutely sure that everything's back to normal? Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing <laughs> oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna. They're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... odd. Uh-oh. Great Scott! What? Uh-oh. We've got to get back in. This could be disastrous. Doc! <laughs> it's like everything they do just screws up something else. This is why you don't mess with time travel, kids. Where'd you go, Doc? We've got everything under control. Doc? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so Doc became like some vicious Overlord or something? 
Well, they usually show a preview, so let's see if they do. Yeah, here we go. Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Mother Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Nice. Okay, that looks like a lot of fun. So, all right, guys, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.